Hey everybody, this is Praxis. Today there's a couple things going on. Uh, one of them is I'm going to start work on the chicken coop. I just got this lumber the uh, yesterday. Oh man, lumber is so expensive now, at least as compared to what it used to be. Certainly if I had to fell my own trees and chop it all down and everything like that, I'd be happy to pay the price that I paid for these boards. But even the 2x3s, the 8 foot 2x3s, they're like $5.50. Um, for those of you guys who are not familiar with buying lumber, that's, you know, that's a good double the price that they used to be. But, you know, again, it's a lot easier than cutting down one of these trees myself and making my own lumber, so I still do it. Uh, another thing going on today, though, is a repair job. And uh, it's a bit of a mystery. I wonder if you can figure out what this is. I have my own theory. Uh, here is the air intake. If, if you recall, I'm not sure if I documented it in one of these videos, but I'd had kind of a cardboard roof that I made for it. And here's the cardboard roof. Uh, back here, there's a cardboard roof on top, and it was covered in plastic, and, uh, I mean, that was not a permanent thing, but it was, uh, holding up all right, and then this morning, I just walked by and noticed it was off, and the plastic was kind of torn. I'm thinking, okay, maybe the wind really got it, but then, I found this, here, and, uh, that's some major damage. Now, you know, you see something like that, you think, well, maybe something fell, uh, but, you know, there's nothing on the ground. No tree fell or anything like that. Uh, and there's only there's only one thing I think that could do that, either a person or a bear. And I, I'm leaning towards bear because, I mean, it would just be kind of crazy if a person did this. You can see the filter material is all in there. Uh, here, here's some of the clues that I think it might have been bear is uh, some of these chunks of wood. Where's some? Yeah, here's a good one right here. I think these are claw marks in the side. See that kind of gouge there and on the other side and then there's kind of like a a gouge right in the, the top there. Th this was from the bottom so this went in like kind of down here somewhere and it looks like something kind of you know, just went in and clawed at it and tore tore that chunk off. Now as to why a bear would do that I don't really know. I know that bears will sometimes uh, you know, they'll just kind of go up on trees and and scratch the bark off. I don't know if that's like a mark the territory thing or I don't know, like cats scratching their, you know, sharpening their claws. I really don't know what their uh, reason is for that. But this doesn't look like that because when a bear does that on a tree, there's a bunch of scratch marks on the tree. This is just one, one grab, one tear, and that's it. Uh, in so far as why they would go after this, I, I don't know. Now, there, there is a vent here and it goes down into the, uh, the root cellar and there's a couple bags of potatoes and some onions in there. Uh, but, you know, I, that can't be throwing off that much, uh, you know, fume, and, uh, bears have never gone after the front door of the, of the root cellar, and, you know, it smelled like that for a while, and that doesn't mean that it wasn't a bear, just because it didn't happen before, and now it happened, so, you know, it, it could be a bear, but, uh, you know, we, actually, I'm, I'm already smelling it right now, we've had this here forever, uh, this is our compost pile, and I've never seen any evidence that a bear has rooted around in that at all. So it's kind of weird. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure what the situation is with that. So what I'm, my plan is, well, first, I'm hoping that this is not going to be a regular thing. If it's a regular thing, I'm going to have to figure out some way of making it so it's not a regular thing. But uh, if, it be, if it's not a regular thing, I, I'm hoping I can just kind of fix this up once and and that'll be the end of it but uh and we'll have to see it gets kind of destabilized a little bit as well um this is kind of a, a side issue uh the concrete that i used to put the uh, in the bottom there i used it for another project later on and that other project i actually had access to it where i could see it i don't think that concrete was good anymore um it was only a year old but it was in our greenhouse and we do vent uh the humidity from the bath like the shower and stuff out there. So I think I think the concrete uh, was ruined. So the concrete that I have down here at the bottom, I may need to kind of just scoop that stuff out and put some, some real concrete, actual like functional concrete at some point. But whatever it, whatever was on there, it, it destabilized the whole thing. So my plan is I'm just gonna take these pieces, I'm gonna glue them back in there and uh, put some uh, water seal over it. And hopefully that's okay. I can, uh, I don't know, I'll, I guess I'll just see over time. But this is, you know, kind of part of it. It's not my favorite part of building is when you're fixing something that gets damaged. Uh, I like the kind of the initial creation part, but you gotta, 
you got to deal with the fact that, uh, you know, that's going to be part of the process is whenever uh, you create something, it can also be destroyed and uh, sometimes you have to recreate it. Oftentimes the second time you make it, it's better, although this time it, I'm just going to do it exactly the same way, just glue the pieces back. So that's it. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.